Hi, in this video I'll be showing you this. It's the Shark IZ201 UK cordless vacuum cleaner. And what I want to do today is to show you around the vacuum cleaner, some of the features and benefits that it offers, and really why if you're in the market for a cordless vacuum then this should be one to consider. What I'd normally say is just before we start, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, click the thumbs up. Uh, what I normally do is I talk about things like household appliances, and I do talk a lot about cordless vacuum cleaners. Uh, so just give us a thumbs up and then we'll carry on. So what I'll do, first of all I'll show you around the top part, around the main handheld part. So what I'll do is I'll just disconnect this. And you've just got a button on the front here. So that's a really easy process just to remove that. And what that will do, that will enable you to use this as a handheld. And I'll cover the tools in, in a couple of minutes. Uh, but first of all, as I say, this is the, the design of it. Um, it's quite a quite a unique design. Uh, not many manufacturers have gone along with, with this kind of arrangement. Um, a lot of manufacturers have gone uh, with the, the thinking of having the bin and the motor at the top here, uh, which is, you know, as I say, that's quite, a, that's quite a standard design. So basically what happens is you've got the on and off button here. Uh, you will see there are a couple of symbols. Uh, I'll show you a bit more in, in depth in a moment. Uh, but this, so if you were using it on the floor, then you would first of all switch it on. Um, but if you actually wanted a roller to rotate, then just carry it on. So what will happen is that the, the brush will speed up. So if you need it for things like carpets or deep hole carpets, then that's really a good option. Uh, but as it says here, you've got the pull for max power. Now, personally, I really like this. Uh, because a lot of manufacturers run times are quoted on their minimum run time so on this one for example you get around 40 minutes run time which for a lot of people is actually enough uh, I do know you know if you own a big property um, or if you like to do your vacuuming all in one go then you might need something a little bit longer 60 70 or 80 minutes uh, but for the majority of people 40 minutes is more than enough I know personally even after 20 minutes on board of vacuuming uh, but what this enables you to do is you can actually, rather than having it on the maximum suction all the time, then you just pull that for when you really need it. So if you have got a very dirty section, um, say if, uh, for example, if, if you've got a dog or a cat, and if it lies in a certain position, and if you've got a clump of hairs there, then you might need an extra boost of suction just for that area. Uh, and it doesn't necessarily mean you have to have it on all the time, so just pull the trigger when you need it. So I'll just give you a demonstration of that. So hopefully you could hear the difference. And the main advantage of having something like that is that, uh, as I mentioned about the runtime, it means for the majority of time, you will get pretty close to the 40 minute runtime. So the bin capacity on this is 0.7 liters. So it's not the biggest on the market, but it's certainly not the smallest. Uh, if you are comparing them to other manufacturers, then it's something I always try and tell people to look at the bin capacity. Uh, there's nothing worse than buying a, uh, any vacuum cleaner, whether it's cordless or corded, uh, and then realizing it's got a really small bin because you'll find that you're forever empty in it. Uh, on this one, as I say, it's got 0.7 liters. Uh, and what it does is it has got a maximum line there. So you, I don't know if you can see that in the with the camera, but what that does is that will recommend as to when to empty it. And as far as emptying, it's again, it's a very easy process. You've just got a button on the side there, and then all the dirt will drop out there. Uh, I'd always recommend doing that in a well-ventilated area. Uh, just make sure you don't. I'd recommend not really doing it inside, especially if it's full, you know, because it is quite good capacity then you'll get a lot of the, the dirt and the dust coming back up at you, so I'd recommend doing that outside. So when it comes to cleaning and maintaining the vacuum, then it is very easy. You've just got a button on the side here, so once you press that, then the bin will come off like that. Um, what you can do is you can actually uh, just take the filters out. So you've got, you've actually got three filters in this vacuum. So you've got the top one here, and then as you go under that, and just grab that. So that's a, like a foam or a spongy filter. Um, what we'd normally recommend, recommend with this uh, is to, as far as cleaning it, um, some manufacturers, because I've done quite a few cleaning videos across my YouTube channel, um, quite a few times I do recommend 
um, sort of put them in water to just make sure they give it give it a nice good clean because uh, what you'll find is if you if you can keep things like this clean then it can really help with the suction on the vacuum because uh, if you keep everything clean helps with the suction and the performance of the vacuum will be a lot better as well uh, but with this one uh, personally I wouldn't recommend sort of dunking it in water uh, I just recommend getting some like a, a microfiber cloth and a brush uh, just to get around inside here uh, just sort of give it a really good wipe out and for these two filters they are washable so just give them a rinse under water uh, make sure they are completely dry and then they just pop back in the top there and I do like things like this where you just got the little tab on it uh, just makes it a lot easier to get it out and there is also one more filter so you've got one hiding in the top there that's the the main filter in the shark vacuum and again with this then just give it a, a rinse out under water uh, it doesn't have to be warm water just just in cold water um, but what we do recommend and I should have said it about those filters as well is that when you wash these make sure they're completely dry before you put them back in the vacuum now I do say it in pretty much all of my videos especially the cleaning ones um, the only reason I say that because some people have damaged the vacuums by washing them leaving it for an hour and then putting it back in the vacuum and if it's still damp then there is a very very good chance that it could damage the vacuum so leave them for 24 hours just put them on the side it doesn't have to be outside or anything like that or in an airing cupboard just leave them on the sides to dry naturally the other option and this is something i also recommend is to buy a spare set of filters and what this will do is this will enable you to uh, take this one out give it a good wash and while that's drying then put the other spare filters in the vacuum now what I will do is I'll post a link here for some that are uh, keenly priced uh, but when you've got that so whether it's your uh, dry one or whether it's your replacement filter that one just pops back in the side there and then when it comes to putting the bin back on then that just locates at the bottom there and then you just clip it on and then you're ready to go so at some point you are going to need to charge the vacuum and obviously it comes with a charger and it's just a standard charger that you just plug into any main socket and what you can do is you just pop it in the back there like that uh, but one beauty of this vacuum uh, which not all of them have is that you can actually remove the battery so you just press the clips in at the side and then you can remove that and the reason I like that is that you've got the ability to change the battery so after several years of use then the battery is normally the first thing to to go and for some manufacturers where it's fixed in the vacuum then that could be it written off uh, but I'm not really a fan of those kind of models uh, I do like to be able to change parts on the vacuums so what Shark have done is they've given us the ability to change the battery uh, which is really good so this model does come with three accessories as well uh, so this is the first one this is the upholstery tool uh, as you can see the very very short bristles on here uh, it does also rotate as well so it just can make life a bit easier when it's actually on the vacuum if you needed to rotate that to get it at a different angle uh, the next one is this one it's quite a stiff bristle brush uh, that's quite useful if you're doing uh, say for, for example a, an area where you've got like a, a dried muddy footprint not that we would have had anything like that at home with the kids uh, but if you need something that really gets into the carpet then the the stiff bristle brush is a really good one to use and then the last one it comes with is this this is the the classic crevice tool uh, quite a standard tool really across uh, most cordless vacuums uh, and with all of these tools then they just fit on the front head like that so it just clips on and then you've got the button on there to remove it. Now there is an alternative model uh, which is basically the same model number but it's got a T at the end so it's the IZ201 UKT and that model comes with a turbo brush. Clearly this one just being the UK model this doesn't come with it uh, but that can be something quite useful uh, it's a rotating brush uh, that can be quite good for things like the stairs or car for example uh, but what it also comes with I nearly forgot it comes with this cheeky little bag as well so if you need somewhere to put all of these tools and accessories then you've got a bag to put them in. Now as with a lot of cordless vacuums storage of it can be an issue 
uh, especially because some people want to know where to charge it, where to keep the accessories, where to keep the vacuum. So it's not quite as simple as it used to be with the old traditional corded vacuums. Uh, so what Sharp have done is they have thought about this and the first thing is it doesn't come with a wall bracket so you're not necessarily tied into a certain position in the house to have it. Uh, which to be fair quite a few people don't like the wall bracket concept. Uh, that's why some people go for certain models whether it's got a wall bracket or not. Um, but what Shark have done is they've actually come up with something called flexology. Uh, and what this enables you to do is to, once you press the button on the back here, you can actually fold the vacuum in half like that. Now, for some people, if you are very, very limited for storage, then that could be the main reason to buy the vacuum. And what that does is that takes the whole height for storage down to around 69 centimeters, or just over 27 inches. Uh, so, as I say, that could be a really, really good reason to buy this. And then what you can do, is when you take it out and then when you want to use it you just press the button on the front there that just lifts up and then you're ready to vacuum so another reason you could be leaning towards this vacuum is because of this uh, this is the main floor head and as you can see here you've actually got two rollers so shark call this duo clean and clearly duo for two rollers and what this does is this has something called anti hair wrap technology and as it says on the tin uh, what you'll find is if, you, if you've got people in the house, whether it's family members or animals that have long hair, um, and if it's a real problem, which it can be for a lot of people, uh, then what this will do, this will actually pick up the hair, but the main advantage is it doesn't get wrapped around the brush. Uh, that can be quite a problem with a lot of vacuum cleaners, whether it's corded or cordless, uh, but I have tried this out on a couple of other shark vacuums and it does work. So if you have got family members or, or animals that molt, um, not saying your family members will molt, but if you get hair on the floor, then uh, by using this, then that could be a really good solution. What you can do is you can actually take the bottom plate off. So if you wanted to clean it, uh, just use a coin. That's normally the best thing. If you do use a screwdriver, then you can end up damaging some of these heads. Uh, so just use a coin, twist it, and then the bottom plate will come off. If you just wanted to clean the front roller here, then you don't have to take the bottom plate off. You have got a button on the side here, so all you do is you just press that, and then the roller will pop out like that. So I suppose because that's the main one that you would want to clean often, then that's really good so you don't have to take the plate off. And then once you're done with that, then you just locate it on the side there. Uh, just have a look out there. It, hopefully you can see that it says front obviously you just need to locate that towards the front that just clips back into place so let's quickly show you it working now for the the first setting I'll show you will be like the hard floor um, and that's the first setting so when I showed you the on and off switch that's the the first one that you select uh, what I will do then is I'll move it up to the the carpet setting and what you'll see is that it doesn't necessarily increase the suction on that it will just increase the speed that at which the brushes rotate. Uh, you've got the separate button, I showed you, well the trigger, I showed you the trigger earlier as to uh, if you want to increase the suction. So I'll just give you a quick demonstration of it. from that but I could certainly feel that as I especially increased it to the carpet selection and then increased the maximum suction then it did really you could really feel it uh, suck into the carpet uh, it is very impressive uh, I know I've not done a demonstration so sucking everything up uh, this was just really to talk about the the features of the the vacuum cleaner uh, but what you will also notice at the front there you have got some little lights so you've got some little LED lights at the front there. Uh, this is becoming pretty standard on quite a few cordless vacuums now. Uh, I suppose the main advantage is that if you say vacuuming under a, a sofa or under a bed, or if you just like vacuuming in the dark, if that's your thing, 
then you've got some LED lights on the front here to help you on your way. So if you are thinking of buying one of these, then I have provided a link below to show you where to get one at a competitive price. As far as the guarantee on most cordless vacuums, then they tend to be either one or two years. Uh, but what Shark have done, and at the time of making this video, and I'm not saying it will always be on, but at the moment, then they have got a five year guarantee. And that's things like parts and labor. And I point that out because very, very few manufacturers, especially in this price range, uh, will offer a warranty for five years. So that's really something to look out for. I hope you've enjoyed this quick video on the Shark IZ201 UK cordless vacuum cleaner. Again, please give me a thumbs up, click subscribe on our YouTube channel and leave any comments below. I'd always ask for comments, whether it's good or bad, about the video itself. Uh, if you have got any questions on the Shark cordless vacuum, then just pop it in the comments and I'll get back to you. Also, if you have got one of these, or if you've got any other Shark cordless vacuum, then let me know what you think about it, because I'd always appreciate the feedback. Thanks for watching.